So the woolly mammoth, we all yes. grew up learning about the woolly mammoth, yes. you know, the pictures of it in That's museums, right. certainly. Though, and now there's this discovery in Russia of a full woolly mammoth, apparently with the blood still intact. So what does that mean? Here's a situation where a creature from 10,000 years ago has been frozen in the ice and has been uh, exhumed, and we found that there seems to be some liquid inside that looks like blood. Mm. But the real question is, is this a viable blood product truly? It's 10,000 years, it's been frozen a long time. You know, probabilities are very low on that, but it is a tantalizing thought nonetheless. The thought that you could clone it. The thought that you could find some cells that are yeah. viable that could be used to derive some DNA for cloning. But this has been tried before, and the real difficulty is you have to be able to collect enough of a genome to do this. So it's been done with 100 genomes before, it's been done with 400 genomes, or you can find this, but you needed millions of genomes to really get all the uh, oh. material you need to do that. Bummer, we were all hoping for a woolly mammoth. <laughs> Maybe a woolly mammoth on Mars or on yeah, an asteroid exactly or something right. like that? Yes. Uh, uh, that whoever said science can't be interesting. 